Are they trapped inside the wreckage of the Titanic? That's the fear today as the Titan submersible remains lost. This is so terrifying because the clock is really ticking. If that sub is still intact and those passengers are still alive, they have less than two days worth of oxygen left on board. The U.S. and Canadian Coast Guards are scanning the ocean using C-130 reconnaissance planes, dropping sonar buoys to listen for any sign of life. They're listening for tapping or voices because at this point that may be the only clues that they have if they can hear that at all. The five men on board have been identified as British billionaire Hamish Harding, Shazada Daywood, said to be one of Pakistan's richest men, and his 19-year-old son, Suleiman. Titanic expert Paul Henry Narjale, and the man who built the sub, Stockton Rush, the CEO of Ocean Gate. Wow. They are sealed in the 21-foot metal tube about the size of a minivan. There are no seats, no room to lie down, no food or drink, but there is a toilet. The crew closes the hatch from the outside with 17 bolts. There's no other way out. The Titan began its descent at 8 a.m. Sunday, but lost contact with the support ship, the Polar Prince, less than two hours later. The round trip to the wreck of the Titanic should have taken nine hours. When they didn't return at 5.40 p.m., the Coast Guard was called in. All of our efforts are focused on finding the sub. There's about 40 hours of, of breathable air uh, left. That would mean they run out of air at 5 a.m. Thursday. If the sub is trapped in the Titanic, it will take an extraordinary effort to bring it to the surface. First of all, it's pitch black down there. The temperature is 39 degrees Fahrenheit. The pressure is 110 times greater than on the surface. No diver can go that far, and no other sub on the planet can go that deep. You know, throw in a bunch of tourists in a new sub that, you know, was just created over the last several years. Um, it, it's not looking good. It is always in the back of your head. I could die here. Mike Reese, a well-known TV writer and producer for The Simpsons, paid $250,000 to make the journey last summer. That's his wife posing for photos in the sub before the descent. It's small, but comfortable. It's if you, you can imagine uh, a minivan, if you tore all the seats out. Listening, it sounds very claustrophobic. We were all kind of like-minded people on an adventure, and so there was never a moment's discomfort. CBS Sunday Morning correspondent David Pogue has also been on board the Titan. What do you think happened to the Titan? There's only three possibilities. One is that the Titan imploded on its way down. Another possibility is they just lost power. They made it to the bottom and they are somehow stuck there. The third possibility is that they successfully made it to the surface, but without power, they have no way 